Good morning. Oh my. Don't fall. Okay, honey. No, I'm gonna die today. Rather be alive today. You've been on my mind today. Got some shit that I should say. This is what the song's about. Moving back. We're tanning today. Not at the pool, sadly. I feel like it hasn't felt like summer. And, I don't know, I'm getting tired of it. I love summer, so. I'm trying to do more summer activities and there's nothing my neighbors love more than seeing me come out here and tan. Cause I always wear like the cheekiest bikinis, of course. Flashy my boobs. Um, I always choose a different vibe um, to tan to. So I have like a bunch of different genres of playlists, and I don't. It's kind of nice to just like listen to. Especially kind of like a different decade of music when you're tanning because it almost like puts you back in that decade and So what I do with my playlist is I'll like play it and then So I'll go into like what so if I want to like play two playlists or three playlists, whatever I'll go in to whatever playlist wherever I want to start and you can either like click on the song or you can click on um, you can just click shuffle or play or whatever and then go to the other playlists that you want and then click like the little three dots at the top of the playlist. This is on Apple Music by the way. And then you can either like play it next or play it last, it doesn't really matter because then you're going to go like back up and then you're going to click like up to like what is up next. I hope you guys can follow me on this. And then you can like unclick the shuffle or click the shuffle or whatever and it'll shuffle all of the ones that you have playing so it'll like shuffle your playlists like within each other which is really cool that's what i always do so right now i'm playing my guardians of the galaxy playlist which of course has guardians of the galaxy songs and then like other songs that i've added on to that so i'll kind of like scroll through so you can see love magic man yeah i listen to a lot of genres of stuff so this is my Guardians of the Galaxy playlist, and then right now I'm also listening to my Feel playlist, which is like kind of like rock or like band. I don't I don't even know what you would call this genre. Sorry. Yeah, there's a whole mix of stuff in here, so I love that playlist when I just like want a different feel. But yeah, I have like a bunch of different genres of playlists and I love that because sometimes I get tired of listening to like only one genre. And I don't know, sometimes it's just like fun to like feel like to be in like a different mind space, which listening to music definitely like puts you in like a certain feel, I guess. Yeah, like the vibes of being outside and then listening to like, I don't know, some... 60s, 70s, 80s music and some rock just is like really peaceful. I wish I could tell you to stay, don't go, but you're already halfway out there. So I won't hold you anymore. I don't know you anymore. I've been running a little low on motivation for videos lately because. Why? What was my because? I need a lot of change and adventure 
in order to be like really happy and really inspired. Like I get very like irritable when I don't have enough change going on in my life and I feel like things are like too routine or everything's the same. Honestly, holidays are starting to feel really, really weird to me because I just feel like why am I celebrating the exact same holidays every single year? Like, I don't know if anyone else has had this thought because I feel like when I start talking about holidays and like, I don't, like not wanting to celebrate holidays anymore everyone kind of looks at me weird or like they like seem like they get a weird feeling about me saying that but I just feel like what is the point in doing the exact same things every single year and like having and not only the exact same things but you're doing it at the exact same time as everyone else. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know how people like want to do it. Also, my face is breaking out and it was literally just clear, but of course, as soon as I'm about to record again, it's... Anyway, my birthday's coming up and I'm thinking I'm not going to celebrate this year. I mean, I'm not thinking about it. I've kind of already like said to my family that I'm just like not really feeling celebrating it this year because I just feel like birthdays can be such a letdown and I, I feel like most of my birthdays have been like the opposite of what they're supposed to be or at least like what we've all kind of like deemed them as like what they're supposed to be like they're supposed to be this happy celebration that's like I don't know, like, I always felt like it was supposed to be something, like, inspiring or to look forward to, and I feel like I always do the opposite. I've cried on most birthdays, and it always ends up making me feel like I'm not at the right place in my life, or that I don't have the right things. I don't know. It just, it's always such a disappointment, so I just decided I'm not celebrating this year, and that I'm just gonna do more, like, of an internal celebration I guess I would just I would rather celebrate I would rather celebrate my successes than like celebrate my birthday in the way that like you're supposed to celebrate your birthday every year I guess but anyway I don't mean to be so negative I've just I haven't really filmed because that's how I felt and I'm like I don't want to like film and then the whole vibe is off because I'm in a negative mood and then yeah I don't know I like for my videos to be like funny like they can be kind of serious but I like for them to be like fun and funny even if I'm talking about something more serious so I don't know it's also just when you're in like a really weird mood it is kind of hard to like film or to get in the mood of filming or create ideas. I don't know. I've been pretty consistent. I mean, not actually consistent in the way that like I've been trying to post like a few videos each week and it's been a little longer than that since I've filmed. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, if it takes me longer than a week to put up a new video, it's still coming. Sometimes, sometimes you just get in kind of a funk and then like a little bit later you'll get right back in the groove and then you'll have lots of ideas and you'll feel good about things. But yeah, right now, I'm not feeling too hot. I feel like, I don't, I don't like to like rush myself, but where I live, you can really only like do, you can really only do like fun things, fun things, I guess. Like you can really only get out of the house in the summer. Like everything is closed. 
once the summer's up and there's like not really anything to do, as if there's really anything to do here anyway. Oh, I'm in such a complaining mood. If you don't like complaining, just like skip the rest of this video. But I'm in kind of a complaining mood, so I'm gonna continue a little bit. I'm sorry. I don't know, I just haven't felt like I've done what I wanted to do this summer, which wasn't anything like specific. It was just like, I just wanted to like have a lot of fun and be doing something like almost every day or every week. But I don't actually have friends right now, like not even joking. Honestly, I haven't really had friends in like a few years. Like I have my family and then I have some family friends that like I've known like growing up and I hang out with them like once every few months, if that sometimes. So I don't know, I guess I'm getting like a little bit, not lonely, but like I'm missing having friends to make something to do. Cause like if you don't have something to do in your hometown, but you have lots of friends or even just like consistent, like really good friends, you can always make something to do. But when you don't really have friends or even just someone who is like, I don't know, like on the same page as you in life, you can't really like make things to do. You have to like do everything by yourself. So I'm just like trying to create things to do by myself when there's not, there aren't really very many places to go. So I don't know. I'll probably just start using you guys as people to talk to and people to like hang out with or maybe have fun. But yeah, I'm starting to like feel that a little bit. I don't know, I just want to be doing... I want to be doing something like meaningful. Like I'm not saying like I have to be like traveling the world necessarily right now. I would love to do that too. Like I would just love to like do something that I want to do and not just something that like Everyone, or else, everyone else around me wants to do and then I tag along because I don't have anything else to do. Which also kind of sucks. I don't know, I might do like another um, clothes video. I haven't even been feeling doing that because I feel like I'm like creating outfits. I'm not even gonna go there, okay. Anyway, or maybe like a fitness challenge video like a fitness challenge video at home. Maybe. <sighs> I like to end all my complaints or like venting sessions with a solution or, yeah, I mean, I guess a solution. Um, I It really bugs me when I like vent or like have complaints about something without offering like a solution to it or yeah without offering a solution <sighs> why is that keep bugging me but there are benefits to not really having a circle or like a big circle even like beyond your family it does give you a lot of time to just work on yourself. Okay, also... <clears throat> also, if you have like any kind of dreams that you're trying to accomplish that are like not maybe like normal dreams, it can be... Okay, you can, you can definitely have friends who support your dreams, even like your kind of wilder dreams. But if you have friends who aren't really pursuing, I don't know, like kind of more out of reach things, it can feel like a little odd to talk about that stuff with them. And then it can also be a little discouraging, like if they aren't necessarily pursuing their dreams. 
and like it's something new for you because like of course once you get like settled uh, once you get confident in pursuing your dreams like yeah you might not feel like that but when you're first starting out it's definitely I don't know like it feels good to just keep it to yourself so I'd say that's like a big benefit of kind of not really having a circle yeah and it's kind of like the same with like relationships and stuff like it's definitely a lot easier to pursue a dream when you aren't worried about someone else's dream which would be like your partner so yeah I just want to end this video on a positive note and not just me complaining So, okay, bye. Desert the way up, and this ain't a love song. But baby, this a song about the love that we once had. All those times that we were stressing, all that fighting and aggression. I was busy trying to get it, had to learn my fucking lesson.